Court Fest a party. It's going to be a party. More New Hampshire Liberty News from Freekeen.com. Uh, Ian Freeman writing, quote, First in history, transgender candidate enters race for Cheshire Sheriff as Libertarian. Aria DeMezzo files for Cheshire County Sheriff as a Libertarian. In what appears to be a historic first, the Libertarian Party of Western New Hampshire has nominated Aria DeMezzo, pronunciation not verified, as their candidate for Cheshire County Sheriff. DeMezzo says her research shows that she may be the first ever transgender candidate for sheriff in United States history. She's a principled libertarian who hosts a weekday afternoon talk show on LRN.FM named The Call to Freedom. She's on this show daily from 4 to 7 p.m., including the 5 p.m. Crypto Hour, which features her her expertise on the subject of cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. You can watch it via the LRN.FM Twitch channel or listen at LRN.FM. The last-minute filing was thanks to the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire reattaining major party ballot status on the level of the Republicans and the Democrats for the first time in over two decades. That means the party executive committee has the ability to appoint a slate of candidates to fill any races for which no one has yet filed or won enough write-in votes in the primary election. Parties have one week from the primary date to fill such a slate. It's an interesting approach and throws a surprise libertarian challenger into a long, stale county sheriff's race that has been a rematch for several terms between the incumbent Democrat Eli Rivera and longtime Republican challenger Earl Nelson. Aria DeMezzo, LPNH Chairman Chip Spangler, and Robert Call outside the NH Secretary of State office. Oh, unquote. I guess that was the caption for a picture. Anyway, let's see, going on. Quote, DeMezzo claims she's going to be doing real campaigning and has already launched her campaign website, which includes her opinions on ending the entire war on drugs. She admits to being a former opiate addict, which means she's got an insight into the world of drug addiction and the insane war on drugs, not shared by her Republican and Democrat competitors. Unquote. <laughs> well, t- yeah, that's definitely what I call making lemons out of, or making lemonade out of lemons, or attempting to. I I'd be a great candidate because I was a drug addict. Oh well. Anyway, going on. Quote as she points out in her essay. Subquote. Each addict has their own unique reason they turn to drugs as an escape, and the only way to help any of them, if they decide they want help, will be individually and personally. There is no easy, convenient, one-size-fits-all answer. The folly of simplistic solutions like arrest them is that it allows us to feel like we're doing something about the problem, but we aren't, we aren't, at least not anything beyond exacerbating it. Unsubquote. DeMezzo, on her campaign site, also calls for the immediate release of peaceful victimless criminals. She tells me she's more happy to do media interviews, uh, more than happy to do media interviews, and appear at any local events to which she is invited. It's refreshing to finally have a principled, freedom-loving advocate for which to vote in the upcoming sheriff election this November 6th. Unquote. Now, significantly, he also goes on to say, quote, the, he lists a bunch of different candidates, and he says, quote, That gives the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire more candidates on the general election ballot in Keene than the Republican Party, who could only scrounge up one candidate for just the Ward 5 election, unquote. Now, later on, I heard that there may be some other Republican candidate that would make, maybe that would make it too, I don't know. But anyway, he goes on to say, quote, In order to keep major party ballot access status, the Libertarian Party candidate for Governor Gillette Jarvis must receive at least 4% of the vote. If you're tired of government ruling your life and always growing more expensive and more demanding, you finally have a choice, unquote. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party.